You know, the interesting thing is with Apple Slime, the character of the mouse is the most popular character amongst all my characters in the books, amongst children. Children just love. And we know of quite a few puppets that have been made out of uh, the mouse by kids themselves. In plasticine, in ceramics. I mean, a lot of kids make that mouse. That mouse for them is the one they like to be. And you know, one of the exercises we do with the children is when they've heard six fables, they actually learn to know 12 characters. 12 individuals with different emotions, different habits, different attitudes. I mean, let's not forget that normally the owl will eat the mouse. You know, that's what normally happens, and kids know that. So the fact that the mouse can be so aggressive and so defying, you know, is something very unique. And you see a very different attitude for example, the cow versus the mushroom. Because the mushroom could be eaten by the cow in no time. And you hear this little mushroom saying, but may I ask? And could you tell me? You know, and it was a very different approach by the mouse. Well, I'm not, I don't care, you know, oh no, so what? You know, so what is happening is children learn in this process the characters in society. And what we then do with the kids is we ask them, who is the mouse? And they will say, <laughs> and you're, yeah, we just didn't have a dog yet. No. So what is happening, the children start recognizing the characters around them, and it really starts being rationalized by specific individual behaviors. And as a result, we know that the child is improving its emotional intelligence. So when you go through the 36 fables, you actually have 70 characters. Now, most psychologists, having finished their master's degree, will not be able to give you 70 typologies of individual characters. Children will know. So we have basically created this innate capacity of a young person growing up, maintaining that capability to recognize the person very quickly. And that's so important, because if we want to have a society where people work together, where we want to get the best of everyone, we need people who can recognize the best. And we make certain that someone who is a bit aggressive and defies the boss what we're trying to do is actually we're making everyone a great human resource manager. And if everyone has a capability to recognize themselves and the others with their differences, we're recognizing diversity. And in society, we need to recognize diversity. And, and, and say that if we didn't have the diversity, we would never have the strength of society that we have.